Recently, I've noticed a few Apple users wanting to see a new standalone iPod released by Apple. There was even an article written about this on 9to5Mac. But there's pretty much zero chance Apple is ever going to release an iPod again, especially one that doesn't connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Apple would greatly prefer that we buy an iPhone, especially a new iPhone, and most of us do. For those that do want to disconnect and only focus on their music at certain times, there is a way to do that with an iPhone, and that's with a focus mode. Currently on this iPhone, I have a pretty basic home screen with some alert badges and plenty of notifications. Swipe over and we have my app library. If I'm playing music, any of these can be a distraction. So let's head into Control Center and Focus. Currently my work focus is turned on. It's scheduled to activate from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. every weekday. Let's tap the Add button below to create a new iPod Focus. I'll tap Custom, give it a name, and I'll assign this guitar icon to it. I'll also set the color to this pinkish red, which will closely match up with the music app. Next, we can set up customizations that will make this iPhone behave as much like an old school iPod as possible. Tap Choose People, and I can decide if I want to silence notifications only from certain contacts, or allow notifications only from certain contacts. If I want no interruptions from anyone while in this focus mode, I'll want to deselect Drew here. On this next screen, I can have calls come through from everyone, only those that I've allowed on the previous screen, favorite contacts, only those saved as a contact, or only those in a certain contact group. For more on getting your contacts organized, view our full tutorial. I'm going to select the Only Allowed People option, which in this case will be nobody, because I deselected Drew on the previous screen. Next, we can choose app notifications that can appear. For my iPod Focus, I'm going to allow notifications from the music app and the podcast app. Tap Options, and I want to make sure to hide notification badges on any app icons that will be visible. I'll also want to make sure Always Silence Notifications is turned on. Next, we can customize our lock screen and what home screen pages will appear when this focus is active. Before we get to that though, let's add a home screen that only contains a couple music app widgets. I'm going to add one large widget that displays what's currently set to play and a few recents. Then I'll add a medium top picks music widget. We could also substitute in a podcast widget here. Back in the focus settings, let's select a lock screen for the iPod focus. I'm going to go with a very basic bluish gradient. I'll also remove these lock screen widgets. Then we need to choose a home screen page or pages. Select just the page that contains the music widgets, and that's going to be the only page of apps available while in the iPod Focus. Below, we could set a schedule, but for this, I want to only turn it on and off manually. Next, we can add a focus filter. In this case, I'll only want to add a music filter and be sure to have music history turned on. This will simply retain that information for the music app and Apple Music if you're subscribed. On newer iPhones that have a silence button rather than the physical switch, we can also add a filter that will automatically silence the phone when this focus is active. Now we can activate this iPod focus, which will remove the main home screen, 
turn off all notifications, remove all alert badges from our app icons, and only display the basic lock screen that we selected. From the iPod home screen, we can tap the play button, select any of our recents, or the top picks to jump into the music app and start listening. As of now, we're not able to remove the dock, our widgets, or app library while in a specific focus. But this does a pretty good job of making our iPhone into just an iPod when you want it to be. Just no click wheel. For more on using your iPhone, the music app, or the Apple Music service, check out those individual tutorials on the MacU.com. Thanks for watching.